I would say my home is daring, colorful, and playful, but also elevated. Hi, my name is Danny Daisy, and this is my handmade home in Los Angeles, California. Hi, my name is Danny Daisy. I am an interior designer, fashion designer, textile designer. I do too many things. And this is my colorful, maximal home in Los Angeles. Come on in. This is my house of color. When we moved in here, it looked nothing like this. This was nothing but a white box. So there was not a lot of color going on, and I think we really turned this house on its head. Uh, we wallpapered the ceiling, we changed out this lighting fixture for something really statementy. Then we did this fun accent wall. I love to put an accent wall on the very first wall you see when you walk into the house, and it really gives that pop of color. We picked a really fun tile. Again, I tied in the black mantle, the hearth right here, and the dark floor, so we did this fun circle motif, tied in the pink that we have in the room, as well as the black and yellow. So a lot of people ask me all the time, where did you get your couch? This is a modular couch. This wasn't like a tri-color, multi-color couch. It's a modular couch, and we just ordered each section in a different color, and I think it makes a total statement piece, and it's a definite furniture buying hack that really worked out. I think paint is the most powerful tool in design. What it can do to a space is it's just so impactful. One thing you'll notice about this room is there's still a lot of white walls. And I'm not mad at a white wall. I think that white wall can actually be really nice and bring in a lot of light to a room, but it's really about having those pops of color. And something that I'm really known for in my design is having something a little different on each wall. This is another really easy way to start introducing color into the wall. This is just a circle mural. All we did was put a nail in the center of the wall, took a string, a pencil, drew the circle using the nail as an anchor point, and then painted it in. And this is actually a floor rug that I just stapled on the wall, which is another fun way to add texture and different elements to the wall. And rugs are a lot cheaper than a textured art piece. So another wall that you see when you walk in, the living room flows into the dining room, so I added a fun little statement here. So when you walk in, you see yellow, you see pink, then you see the green of the kitchen, which we'll get to in a moment. Favorite piece of the house is this table. How cool is it? It's different colors of marble all inlaid together. And as an artist myself, I'm all about finding artistic statement pieces for the home. It's so special and so unique and it's really a big room given the size of the house, so I needed to find something that was gonna fill it and kind of be the centerpiece of that room. And I think this statement table is something that so many people like notice right away. So I designed all of my interiors on Photoshop first, and this was the wall I was just planning on leaving white. But then when I finished this space, it just looked so odd and I feel like I needed to add something. So I ended up doing a really simple mural. And if you can see behind here, basically it's just like a half arc that intersects with the circle and then is painted in the middle where they intersect. And then I put this really fun macrame art piece on top. And now it's a really fun statement wall and it ties into the ceiling and it ties into the table with the color. And the rug also ties in all the color and really makes it make sense even though there's so much color going on in this room. And if you divert your eyes up, we have a pink ceiling. I love that this house had original ceiling, coked ceilings. It has really great bones, which is really easy for me to work with as a designer. But adding this pop of color and the wallpaper just really brings your eyes up and shows the cool detail in the ceiling. And another one of my favorite hacks is switching out the canned lighting. So all of these cute little lights that you see with the brass base and the alabaster, this was just a canned lighting. We used a canned lighting converter kit and swapped them out, and it was super easy. And instead of having boring, recessed lighting, we have cute little statement pieces that actually add to the design and really make the ceiling a part of the art piece as well. Let me take you to our kitchen. Look it! This is the most fun retro green, and somehow it still works with the rest of the space. Switching out lighting, painting, hardware, is really the best way to transform a space on a budget. These were recessed lighting. Now they're beautiful semi-flush fixtures. 
and it adds just so much character to a space. I feel like recess lighting, I'm like recess lighting's number one enemy. I'm trying to cancel canned lighting. You'll see in our house how much character and fun the lighting switch adds. And you'll see again and again, there's like kind of a circle theme going on in the house whether it's in the tile, the light fixtures, or the little accent walls that we do. When we first bought this house, all of the counters were gray. I love every color in the world. I even love black and white. I don't like gray. The counters I knew had to go, and I think adding pattern, I mean, I'm a pattern designer, so adding pattern was such a fun touch to this kitchen. We actually kept all of the original cabinetry and just painted them green. If you use a sponge roller, you can repaint cabinets, and these have stood up to a year of wear and tear. We also switched out all of the hardware. That's another affordable hack. We did these really cool brass knobs. We switched out everything for brass. We even got this gorgeous brass sink happening. I find so many people are afraid of color, which to me is so silly. I mean, color is a beautiful, amazing thing. As a little kid, I'm sure you loved color, but I don't know what made so many grown adults afraid of color. This room is a little office slash guest room. I feel like ceilings are the number one forgotten item when decorating and renovating and I did not want these ceilings to go to waste. I wanted them to be a part of the design. And really all it took was a little bit of paint, okay, a lot of paint, um, and some fun trim pieces that we added ourselves. There's always a trust the process moment when painting, because the red and the yellow started to look like ketchup and mustard. I was like, oh my God, did I make a terrible mistake? And then we added the pink accent in. Once a few more coats of paint went on, it really started to work. And then tied together by the ceiling and the fun lighting fixture we put in. I love mixing in the highs and lows of design, finding vintage pieces, and really incorporating them in the space. Okay, our best vintage finds in this house are the vintage Moroccan rugs. I just love the high pile of the rugs and the cool color. And they're really like art pieces on your floor. And I'm all about making sure every single surface in the house has something fun and interesting. And these rugs really bring life to the floors. When you live in LA, you don't have a lot of space, so we try to make the most of all the different rooms in our house. So this is actually a pull-out couch. It is possible to find beautiful pull-out couches. This one's from Joybird, and it's really comfortable. And we're able to use this as a guest room and a little office space, which is really nice. It can be hard to pull off a space that feels colorful and playful, but also grown up and, um, I guess fancy, for lack of a better word. Welcome to our bedroom. And when I say bedroom, it's literally just a room with a bed in it, because that's all we could fit. We chose the smallest room in our house for the bedroom because all we really do is sleep in here, and it's also a really relaxing, peaceful space. We went with matching wallpaper to matching sheets, as a textile designer, it's always been my dream to have like a fully patterned singular room. And that's what we did here. Something we obviously also did was added some pops of color. We went with an orange, I think is really cute, and a little bit of yellow as well. And I think it just kind of makes the room more dynamic and fun. When I was originally designing this room, it was like mostly overwhelmingly blue. But I think the pops of color makes it feel a little more special, a little more warm. I think it really ties in the room. I think every home needs a pop of color somewhere. Even if you're a minimalist, you can use a pop of color, whether it's tied into your pillows, maybe it's an accent wall, a piece of furniture. I think pops of color can just add so much to a space and bring a lot of joy. This is what we like to call the green room or the den. We decided to go with the smallest room for the bedroom and keep this big room for something we can share with friends. This is my pseudo conversation pit area. And what's really cool about this room is it has a hallway right to the main living area, so it's really easy to use as a den. And it also has gorgeous French doors that go out into the patio. So I found these chairs secondhand, and I think they were kind of the biggest inspiration around designing this room. These chairs were so cool, I knew I had to use them, and I was like, I guess we're having a green room in the house. 
I also paired it with pink. Pink and green is one of my favorite color combinations. We picked the fabric on this couch. It's a modular couch. We also did another wallpapered ceiling. This was very hard to do, but I think it turned out really neat. And something in this room that was a little different, it didn't have the sort of framing, but we still wanted to leave the edges of the ceiling uh, just painted. So we did our own framing with trim here, and these were also recessed lighting that we turned into semi-flush fixtures. And now the ceiling's a beautiful statement when it was just a plain ceiling with canned lights. We also added this little bookshelf here. Another thing about this room is it's my personal closet because it has the biggest closet. And uh, it's where my clothing line is housed. And one of my favorite parts about this room is these gorgeous doors that go into our patio area. Our patio is probably one of our most used spots in the house. It's a small area, but we really made the most of it. Again, California is all about indoor-outdoor living, so we always have the doors open. Sometimes we'll work out here. We're always hosting, and it's really become our little sanctuary in the city. Some of my biggest inspirations for the color scheme here were Palm Springs and the Beverly Hills Hotel. I really wanted it to feel like a resort and like we're on vacation every day. We really made the most of this space with this seating arrangement. We have a fun fire pit in the middle that we love for entertaining. I think the carpet also really makes it feel like that indoor, outdoor living, blankets, pillows. It's where we have our coffee every morning. It's so cozy. We got so lucky with all of the foliage and landscaping and citrus in our yard. And I think it just adds a fun pop of color with all of the orange. We also have a hot tub. Me and Philip work together at this house. We're here all day long. So we need a place to just relax at night, blow off some steam. And we use it all of the time. I think design is incredibly powerful and can actually change your mood and make you feel more bold and more like yourself. So this is our ADU. When you work from home, having a separate place to work in, even if it's just across the patio, makes a huge difference in actually separating your work and home life. It's also nice because we do rent our house out for photo shoots because it's very bold, a lot of production in LA um, and a lot of video shoots. So when we rent the house out for shoots, we just lock ourselves up in here and work all day. Right here is the biggest mural in the house, definitely the most creative. Here's one of my original paintings. I usually don't end up keeping any of my own art for myself because I get a lot of commissioned pieces and we're usually super busy. But I just wanted to keep something fun in this room that felt creative and it felt like it had my touch on it. This little funky couch is actually another pullout couch. We moved to the other side of town, so we needed a lot of places for our friends to come crash at when we host parties and things like that. I am so passionate about daring design, whether it's my clothing line or my interior design. I want to make things that bring people joy, feel like they bring out their personality, and give them a sense of bravery. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Handmade for more home tours just like this.